What's going on guys? So, me and the neighbor just went out with my Baja. His is not running. Uh, he stripped the bolt out of his clutch, I guess. And he can't get the bolt out to put a new one in. Uh, it's a little bit of work, I guess. So he brought his Savage SS out and the fucking thing will not run right. I mean, it gets warm and it goes and then it stalls and then fucking nitro. I mean, that's why that one's sitting down there. That's why I stole the radio system out of it to put in this because the old shitty radio system, it was 2.4, but there was something up with it. And after the truck ran for about 10 minutes, the radio would kind of lose reception and the truck would kind of just start doing funny shit. So I didn't trust it. So I have the old radio out of it and put this Savage one in. It's the same 2.4, but it's a better three channel. You know what the Savage comes with. But it's a lot better than the old radio that the uh, truck came with originally. So I have to pick up another radio for this. I have so many trucks and so many radios, but I just don't have spare radios. But anyways, so yeah, the neighbor brought his Savage out, and the, the stupid thing wouldn't run, so he just said to run mine, and he would record. But uh, I had a little bit of a fail, and it just, it's boring alone. I mean, one truck, if you're by yourself, is one thing, just to relax and cruise. But when you have a buddy with you, and he has a truck, and it just won't run, it just kind of gets boring. But anyways, I did the run. Body's all dirty and dusty now. But just for the fun of it, I'm going to pull the pin, and I'm going to pull the undershield, just so you guys can see how much shit builds up in this field. Eh, it's not too bad today, actually. It's only a little bit. Usually it's a lot worse than that. Yeah, that's not too bad at all. That's that's pretty clean compared to usual. I mean, I'll have to still blow the truck out. I usually do. Cause there's your there's your underneath. You know, you just get shit built up. There's stuff up at the clutch. I mean, this is all normal, but I do this every time I run this truck just so it doesn't build up and get hot. Cause the truck does get hot and with dry grass. The last thing you want is. A truck running around the fucking track, catching on fire with a full tank of fuel, right? <laughs> but anyways, so the videos, they were only about two minutes, but I still did a video or two. So I installed this little light bar on my uh, cabinet here. I mean, I have outlets all over this place. This is my mess for my TV and DVD and cable and all this stuff. There's basically six outlets in this garage. There, my pool pump is in this one. So when I have this compressor plugged into that side of the wall, it usually throws the breaker because the pool pump's usually on and off through that one. That, well, my fan's plugged into as well as my beer fridge. But I have this little thing here. I figured I'd put it here because once I just flick the switch, I got my under the counter lights. So when I have my under-the-counter lights on, I can actually go in here, and I'm able to see all my parts and everything. So it works out pretty good. Anyways, I just thought I'd talk about the other uh, video. I don't know why he cut it off on the second video, because the truck was running fine, but he seemed to stop it after 2.25. <laughs> Even though I ran another four or five minutes before I shut it off. But anyways, I'm just rambling. I just thought I'd do this video because of the way he shut the last one. So it was a pretty good run. Nothing broke. It's all good. I like when I can walk away from the track and have everything intact still. Anyways, thanks for watching.